This screencast video will show DCU lecturers how to use Zoom Classroom to schedule small group online teaching sessions. It's important to note that when you set up a Zoom Classroom anywhere on your Loop course page, it is connected to that entire page. So it is not possible to restrict access, technically speaking, to small group sessions within Zoom Classroom. What you need to do, in very much the same way as if you were dealing with face-to-face -face small group sessions, you need to clear Clearly label and indicate which Zoom session students need to go to. In much the same way, you would indicate to students in the physical sense which classroom they need to go to for their small group sessions. So to begin, on your Loop course page, click Turn Editing On, and then go to the section on the Loop course page where you want to host your Zoom classroom. In my case, it's section 3 here. And then click Add an activity or resource. Let me move up the activity chooser panel so I can see all of it and scroll down on the left and choose Zoom Classroom and click Add. Give your Zoom Classroom a name, something like... You can leave the rest of the settings on as default and then just scroll to the bottom and click Save and Return to Course. And we can see we have set up a Zoom classroom for small group online sessions. And what we need to do now is click into the classroom to start scheduling these individual small group sessions. So again, the Zoom classroom is connected to the Loop course as a whole. So labeling your small group sessions very clearly is very important so students know which one to click. So as usual, I click schedule a new meeting. I might want to get rid of the pre-populated topic so that it leaves me with more space to give a meaningful title. So I might call it something like this. The description field is also quite useful and you should use this to give clear instructions as to which group should attend this particular small group session. Select the right date for your small group session. The duration is probably fine as is the time zone and the rest of the settings should be fine as well. Something that is important to note, however, is if you have different tutors teaching the different sessions for the different groups, you should add them into the Alternative Hosts field. In order to add them into the Alternative Hosts field, they do need to have their own DCU-licensed Zoom account already set up. So please make sure that any tutors or co-teachers already have a DCU Zoom account. Then click Save. Scroll up to the top menu and click back out to course meetings and we'll see that the small group session for the Thursday 4pm group has already been configured. I'm going to go and add a few more now by following that same process. So in my Zoom classroom, you can see I have scheduled three small group sessions, all at different days and times. And in the title of the session, I have clearly indicated to which group it belongs. So for example, my students in the Thursday 4pm group will come into this classroom and they will click the join button as they see it next to their particular session to launch it. And the same with the subsequent groups. Much like a face-to-face -face classroom session, it is up to the students to make sure that they click and attend their correct group session. So you may want to take a quick roll at the start of the session and make sure that the right students are in the right Zoom session. Of course, if this is your first time using groups, you will need to indicate to students in advance which group they belong to. And you might do that by communicating with them via loop to make sure that they know what group it is they are in. It's important to note as well that cloud recordings from all of the groups will be available in the cloud recordings tab on the Zoom classroom. So if you want to record small group sessions, but you don't want other groups to view it, you may not wish to do the cloud recording function and instead you may wish to record to the computer and that way you will receive a video file of that small group session recording and therefore it won't be in the cloud recording tab.